Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Bill Radford, CIO of Edge Presence. Bill, happy to have you on JSA TV. Well, thank you very much. Let's get started. For our viewers who may not already know, please tell us more about Edge Presence. So Edge Presence is an owner operator of Edge Points of Presence, uh, providing traditional space, power, bandwidth, and interconnection to its customers. Uh, we focus on multi-tenant and single-tenant built to suits. You know, if someone wants the whole thing, they can have it. Um, basically, Edge Presence, what we do is we allow our clients to deploy their state-of-the-art network of their edge storage or computing near where you or your customers need it most. You, know, you don't have to deal with the capital expenses, the operating complexity of a building that's you know, out somewhere that's nowhere near where you're at, maybe on the other side of the country, and you don't have to maintain the network. We've got it covered for you. Uh, each point of presence is a secure, redundant, remotely managed, and climate-controlled environment that allows you to deploy your servers, communication equipment, routers, or any other gear you need. Uh, we do space by uh, the, the rack unit. We do a quarter rack, a half rack, full cabinet. Um, Edge Presence provides build the suit options completely for customers looking for a fully managed solution, even on their own site. You know, we, we let, we, in some cases, we'll let you pick your site. And essentially, our, our fleet of Edge uh, Presence points are, are managed and monitored from a centralized network here in Jacksonville. Uh, it helps to ensure uh, the network operations center can handle everything. You've got your availability, your security, and uh, we do it all using our patent pending designs. Well, Bill, at PTC, you are speaking on a panel. It's called Transformations in Data Center and Network Infrastructure Development. Can you give us more insight as to what you'll be sharing on the panel? And then when it comes to the edge in response to the challenging year of COVID-19. So, um, you know, we, we'll discuss a bit of who we are and what we, what we do. Uh, each of us will get an opportunity to discuss our strengths, uh, how what we do will affect the future of the respective edge environments. Um, I expect we'll have a little bit of fun with, with the, uh, the questions and ourselves. Um, it is interesting uh, to, to see how our strengths are completely opposite of each other. You know, for, for one company, they have this strength and for the other company like us, we were exact opposite of someone. And I thought, I thought it was great. Um, and of course, don't forget, there's always that answer the secret sauce question, you know, that's out there. So each of us have to answer that. And I think we all did a great job on that. Um, we each had our own, own uh, effects of COVID-19, some of us were affected a little bit, little, some of us were not really affected. For instance, we weren't particularly affected because you know, what we're at right now is, is just, you know, it's fire. You know, it's a fire industry, I don't know how else to put it. So for us, um, you know, we have to be out there and be ready. So I, I think you know, someone who watches this is gonna have uh, fun and, and it'll be interesting for them. Sounds like a wonderful, wonderful speaking panel. So we look forward to, to watching that. Let's talk more about 2020. And we just mentioned some of the challenges um, that we're certainly aware of uh, that that year brought. Um, but there were a lot of bright spots as well, including the news that Data Bank made a $30 million strategic investment in Edge Presence. So first, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And next, what's on the horizon now for Edge Presence in 2021? So, you know, what I would say is, you know, people should actually pay attention to data banks' willingness to invest in edge presence. Um, they're obviously one of the biggest players in the industry. Uh, they had a lot of options and they looked at every option. Uh, when data bank got to edge presence, you know, I don't want to say they fought for us because they're bigger than we are, but I will say they made it very well known that they wanted this relationship and we certainly listened to what they had to say. Um, this has been great for both companies and we're expecting big things to come from each other's partnerships you know, now and in the future. Um, for Edge Presence, uh, it's all about accelerating our deployment and helping educate the world's enterprises on the advantages of our curbside co-location. You know, this investment is going to allow Edge Presence to stay way ahead of the industry's curve, and it allows us to explore more offerings from uh, all of our strategic partners, as well as our current and future customers. We'll be watching for sure. So 
Before we leave, last question, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us before we wrap up? Sure. Um, if someone's interested in a turnkey edge data center provider in a specific area of interest, please reach out to us. You know, go directly to our locations page on our website at edgepresence.com. And Edge Presence is coming to a city near you. Go check them out. You heard it from Bill. Thank you so much for your time with us today, Bill. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.